and the software which are intended to perform a specific task. The application softwares which are used to carry out some specific application or some specific task. Okay, they are not compulsory for the working of the computer. They are installed and used according to the requirement of the user. Just tarah ki user ko requirement hai, waisa application software we use it. Okay, if the user is dealing with the, some designing, so it will uh, he will uh, he or she will have the softwares related to the designing. If somebody is in publishing, so that person will have the softwares related to the publishing. So if some so, uh, some uh, user is there who is in the uh, uh, suppose a uh, clerical work, so they may have the software related to the letters or documentation. So that only depends on you. Okay, what kind of requirement is yours? According to that requirement, application softwares are installed and used into the computer. Then there are two types of three types of categories: general purpose application software, special purpose application software, and customized software. General purpose software means the softwares which are used to perform a, a broad variety of tasks. Means common task can koi bhi use kar sakta hai. Like documentation, anybody who is working in an office, who is working in a school, or who is a student, or he anybody who is in a other any any business. So they can use the documentation software if uh, that uh, fulfills its requirement. Okay, any software which is uh, used by a wide variety of people according to their use. Ek software bana diya, jisko zarurat hai, wo aisa usko use kar sakta. That is called <coughs> journal purpose application software. Word processing, graphic editing, spreadsheet application, database management, presentation softwares, any person who use that kind of software, who need that kind of software, they can use it. They are also called packages. Packages is a group of softwares. Package is a group of software. When you install a package, you get a number of a bundle of softwares in that. That is called package. For example, MS Office, it is a package. Open Office, it is a package because when we install Open Office or when we install MS Office, we get Word, we get Excel, we get PowerPoint, we get DBase. Okay, so database management system, so many bundle of software is there that is called a package. So common categories of general purpose application softwares are word processing software, spreadsheet software, database management, graphics, multimedia and presentation softwares. Word processing software. Kaun se hote hai? Word processing software. Yes, Lux. Word processing software. What do you mean by word processing software? Anyone? Microsoft. Microsoft, Microsoft is word. the name of company. Microsoft Word is one example of word processing software. But what actually is, what exactly is word processing software? What they can? Word processing software. Hmm, Wordpad. Let me give you a computer program. Textual matter. Yes, the, the software which deals with the text, which deals with the textual material, which is used to create documentations which is used to create documents, which allows us to create, edit, format, and print the documents. Word processing software means the softwares which allows you to create, edit, format, and print the documents in which you can type the text, you can edit the text, you can format the text. Any kind of software which allows you to do this kind of task, that is called word processing software. So MS Word job example there, that is one example of word processing software. Writer, that is an example of word processing software. Abbey Word, example here. Word Perfect, Apple Iver, Google Docs, LibreOffice Writer, all these are the examples of various word processing softwares. You can use any one of them to create the documents, to type the text, okay? Next is electronic spreadsheet. Electronic spreadsheet means a software which allows you to arrange your data in the tabular form, in the form of rows and columns. Any software which allows you to do this kind of, uh, to arrange the data in the tabular form, that is called spreadsheet software. In spreadsheet software also allows you to edit the data, 
calculate the data, analyze the data, make calculations using formulas, using functions, inserting charts. These are the common features for every electronic spreadsheet software. Any software that allows you to arrange your data in rows and columns and allows you to do the calculations and analysis of data that is called electronic spreadsheet software. Many examples are there, MS Excel, Calci, Quattro Pro, LibreOffice Calci, GNumeric, Zoho Sheets, Spread32, Google Sheets, all these are the various softwares by the various companies. And all these softwares are the spreadsheet software, more and less features are same. Most commonly, jispe jada, jisko zarurat hai, jase humne Excel zada use kiya to thika, we are more comfortable with Excel. Okay, so it provide many features also. This doesn't mean that in the rest of the software, we can do all In sub the softwares, mein we can arrange the data in the form of rows and columns. Next is presentation software. Presentation software is again a category, a special type of software which allows you to create presentations. Now, there are many presentation softwares available nowadays because in every field we need presentation. Chaiwo kisi competition ke liye hai, chaiwo kisi business meeting ke liye hai. Everywhere we need presentation to present our ideas, to present our topic, to present our product, to present our uh, reports. So, many online softwares are also available. Many soft, uh, jo aapke offline softwares are also available. That look allows you to create both professional looking business presentations and multimedia presentations in which you can add the audios, you can add the videos, you can add the animations, graphics to make your presentation looks more beautiful and attractive to attract the attention of the audience like MS PowerPoint, OpenOffice Impress, Prezi, Keynote, LibreOffice Impress, Visme, Zoho Show, Google Slides. All these allow you to create the presentation. Canva, Canva is there. That is also you to create the presentations. So you can use any one of the software to create the presentations. Next is DBMS, Database Management System. Database Management System means to arrange your data in different tables. Like we are having a large amount of data and that data should be arranged properly in the form of different tables. No doubt, Kelsey may ya Excel may you are arranging the data in the form of rows and columns, but you cannot uh, uh, reuse the data. Apo or table ko ya linking nahi kar sakte hai. tables ki DBMS mein we can create the linking. We can have the few columns in one table and few columns in another table and we can link them. But in DBMS we can do that, not in Kelsey, not in Excel. Okay, so the Calci is basically for statistical purpose of data, statistical data in which calculation is more important. DBMS is a software which allows you to create and manipulate and edit the data, sorting, karni hai, editing, karni hai. Aapko data ko properly arrange karna hai in different tables so that you can retrieve the data as and when required. Calci may Excel may agar aapne 100 records maintain kar bhi liye, but Aapko find out a particular student ka record. So aapko find option mein gana padega. That doesn't look jada ho nice and presentable nahi hai. Ho temporarily aapne kar liya. But <coughs> DBMS mein kya hai? You have the retrieval features. Aapko sirf ek number enter karna hai. That will give you the detail of complete that record. Aapko us pure record ki detail a jayegi. So that detail, that result you can save also. You can reuse also. And you can uh, save it separately also. So DBMS provide different other features along with uh, jo rows and columns ko arrange data arrange karne ke ilawa, usme aur bhi database management karne ke bahut sare features available hote hai. So various examples of DBMS are Assess, Base, MySQL, FoxPro, Oracle, DBase, SQLite, and MongoDB. All these are the examples of DBMS softwares. Next is specific purpose softwares. Specific purpose softwares means they are not generally available. Means ki ye nahi ki kahi se bhi buy kiya aur kaam kariye. This is not a uh, specific purpose. Just say MS Word, MS Office hai. We can download it from internet or we can buy the original version. But these softwares are not available in shops where, where you can buy. These are the softwares which are purchased directly from the manufacturer. 
ठीक है हम मैन्युफैक्चर से जैसे अकाउंटिंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम है तो दैट विल बी यूज ओनली बाय द अकाउंटिंग पीपल नॉट बाय द स्टूडेंट्स और नॉट बाय द टीचर्स और नॉट बाय एनी अदर शॉप कीपर सो एच आर मैनेजमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर पेरोल मैनेजमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर पेरोल मैनेजमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर कैन बी यूज ओनली इन द ऑफिस टू कीप द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ एम्प्लॉइज इट कैन नॉट बी यूज बाय सम रेंडम पर्सन Similarly, billing system can be used only in the shops. The softwares which have a specific purpose at a specific location, they are called specific purpose application softwares. They cannot be used everywhere. Next is mobile application, or you can say customized to software. After the third last category was the customized software. Customized software means the software which are made according to the requirement of the user. User goes to the manufacturer, give its requirement कि नहीं मुझे ये चाहिए ऐसा चाहिए ऐसा होना चाहिए इस पे क्लिक करने पे ये होना चाहिए ऑल द रिक्वायरमेंट आर गिवन बाय द यूजर एंड द सॉफ्टवेयर आर डिजाइन अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट टू सेटिस्फाई द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द यूजर दैट इज कॉल्ड कस्टमाइज सॉफ्टवेयर और टेलर मेड सॉफ्टवेयर The software works exactly the way user wants to run. It takes long time and heavy cost to prepare such softwares, and these softwares are also called bespoke or tailor-made software according to the user. User ne requirement deni hai. Mujhe apni particular shop ke liye bilkul aisa hi software chahiye. Mere ko ye nahi ki koi bhi billing system nahi chahiye. According to my requirement, mujhe ye enter karna that is tailor-made software. Next is mobile application. The softwares which are designed to run on the mobile devices, such softwares are used for the specific purpose. They are called mobile softwares. They can be run only on the mobile devices, like games, utility apps, entertainment apps, social networking apps. All these softwares you can run on the mobile. But softwares which are designed to run only on the mobile app, mobile soft, uh, mobile devices, they are called mobile applications. Clear? any doubt yes ninth class any doubt 